okay dear students so let us see what is there in this question now you see a charge of minus 3 coulomb is moved from a to b and then back to a the electric potential at a is positive 10 volt and electric potential at b is negative 20 volt what is the work done in moving the charge from a to b and the total work done well the total work done will come out to be equal to zero because we have done this thing in the topic two where we did in the work energy power that all these fields are conservative fields including the gravitational field including electric field and including the magnetic field and whenever a charge is completing its journey in one particular uh, circle or one particular system in which the net displacement comes out to be equal to zero the work done becomes zero so definitely the total work done will be zero because electric field is a conservative field so when you return back to the same position work done is going to be zero but what about finding the work done in moving a charge from a to b so my dear students there is a very deep concept here please try to be very careful so what i'm going to do is these are the two points let us say this is a and this is b the voltage here is 10 volt and the voltage here is minus 20 volt so a charge is trying to move from this to this so the step number one so first of all we need to find the total change in potential that the charge is undergoing obviously it is final potential minus the initial potential so final is minus 20 minus 10 so overall it will be minus 30 volt so this is the total change in potential difference and so step number two we can find the total change in potential energy and we know the relation you multiply it with the charge and there you have the total change in potential energy so it is minus 3 multiplied by minus 30 so it comes out to be positive 90 joules so this is the total change in the potential energy of the system and now before explaining anything let me move to step number three i will explain you things later now you see from the topic two uh, we have done there there is something called work energy theorem and be very careful here so according to it the work done by field force work done by field force I'm not talking about the external agency, work done by you, work done by me. I'm not talking in that sense. Who is there? There is an electric field and there is a charge and charge is moving some or the other kind of a motion. It is moving. So the work has to be done. Both works will be done. Work will be done by the field as well as by the external agency also. And they are definitely opposite to each other in the signature, in the sign. But let me find the work done by the field force. So work done by the field force is positive change in the kinetic energy and the negative change in the potential energy so either of these two we would be using so in this case we are going to use the total change in potential energy which is 90 so we are going to substitute it here and so the answer is negative 90 joule so as you can clearly see here that the work done by the field force is coming out to be negative why is that negative yes the answer will be 90 and so answer will be c there is no doubt about it and we can check it from the mark scheme yes the answer is c but how come it is negative and why the answer given here is positive okay first of all you you try to understand it like there is this negative charge here it is trying to move towards the right direction in which direction do you think is the force acting on it the field force is acting on it how you see this is positively charged this is negatively charged electric field is moving like this obviously it is being acted upon by a force in the opposite direction so work done by the field is definitely negative there is no doubt about that and now the other thing is yes we can say that the work done by the external energy agency is positive anyways we can uh, take the positive answer also we can say that in the case of ib like they are just using this formula mod q into delta v this is what they are doing yeah q into delta v and by using this formula you will always get a positive value and so you can definitely say that the answer is c so my dear students this is the proper explanation please do other questions for more explanation all the